So this next video is going to be mostly about the Blitz, which is kind of behind the scenes facilitator training, um, but it's also going to be about some other stuff. I actually start the Blitz with turning the lights out and asking them if they're ready for their life to change. It's the very first question that we ask them. So it's a three-day intensive facilitation course where we bring on people who we're uh, selecting to be TAs and teach them about our methodology. The Blitz to me is this really cool um, integrated way where students get to know each other while also learning the skills. I think it's the best idea we've kind of come up with so far in terms of having students most prepared for their first day of facilitation. Bye. The Blitz is, in a nutshell, changing gears in your brain to look at the world in a more open way. I think it's the giving of the tools of facilitation, first of all, to people who are just really interested in having the conversations that we do. I guess I looked at it as an experiment. From the outside, if you weren't in it, it was hard to see what it, this was going to look like. The Blitz has happened four times. Really what the Blitz is, it's this birth of an idea of how valuable the skills are and how do we get them into students who are TAs for the Social 19 class in a way that's quick and useful and experiential. Three days that we spend preparing for the three days of the Blitz, arduous to plan, I would say. Countless hours that go into planning. 70. 70. Getting in contact with people, getting in contact with Will about, you know, prep, um, materials. There's never enough dried mangoes. He held out on us. Who is going to be at the Blitz in terms of like, um, you know, coaches? If I say the word dog here, but I really mean husky, like what effect is that going to have on the group? To be honest, I don't know how everybody gets in the room. It's actually quite magical. The first time we met with Will um, during our, our, our own prep, he said when he does his own sessions, he usually has two days of planning for each day that he'll be working. So if it's three days, he'll have six days of planning. And that, right off the bat, was like, what? We're trying to fit in you know, like weeks and months of uh, experience and perspective and conversations in the three days. Blitz is Friday, Saturday. They give us the names of the finalists on Sunday. You have three days to try and get this picture of a person and there's so many people, <laughs> it's really tough to do. So this last time we spent eight hours after the Blitz was over, late until midnight, actually deciding, okay, of these people that we just had this great experience with, where could we see the most serving these 8,000 students that we engage in? There's like a little bit of pressure on the team to like get it right, because if you don't, then it like, it really translates into their experience. Those two days help them build the data, and then I analyze it. So we make some decisions about what would be best for them and for the organization as a whole. And then we create the schedule in about, in about three days. By Friday the schedule is finalized so that they can be doing their Social 119 sections, the recitations, on Tuesday. And then we do it again the following semester. Blitz is actually having a very positive impact because this is like unlike anything I've ever done before. We sit in a room with 50 people and we just get to know each other, you know, what beliefs um, one person has versus the beliefs that someone else has and we learn to become more open-minded. They don't have to know how the world is, but they want to explore what the world is. There's so many different perspectives in the same room. Um, that's really cool to me. I'm seeing how quickly I can change my opinion. I think it's really cool that even the most objective things can change. There's, there's a lot of people that see things in other ways, and I'm excited about that. The Blitz 
always brings around new people and perspectives that you don't really consider. So it's like rejuvenate, rejuvenating to, to experience. I'm from a really small town in Appalachia where there's 5,000 people. The entire community is very homogeneous. So it's very nice to be able to be in an area where it's very diverse and hearing a lot of different perspectives that otherwise I would never hear. I think how honest people are being, it's so impressive. Like people are really opening up as soon as you meet them. There's something that happens when they start to fully engage with each other about issues that matter most to them. The Blitz to me is the most amazing three days of human connection that I've ever experienced. If they're in a way that we can see that there's something about them that in, can invite conflict and be in that conflict and be in all sides of that conflict and look from the conflict from all different perspectives. It sounds like both of you are speaking from a place of fear. Ooh. And that makes us smile because then it can be a great facilitator, an amazing facilitator, and invite contrary perspectives into their room to be explored. Not to be fixed, not to be even owned necessarily, but truly to be explored. One, go. You don't know what happens next. <laughs> not every dog's a husky, but every husky's a dog. Right. This is why I need a PR class. I don't know how to represent myself in public. No, <laughs> Thank you.